So to be honest, I'm a little nervous about being parked here sketching this barn. I'm just not sure I'm allowed to be here. I mean, what if the owner of the barn gets mad? And there's a lot more cars driving by than I thought there would be. I want to respect other people's property while I'm out. That's rule number one for me when I'm sketching outdoors. So setting things up on the back of my pickup truck was a great way for me to have a quick getaway in case the owner of the place disagreed with my decision to park here. And it acted as an easel, which I thought was kind of convenient. One of the reasons I paint with pencils is because the setup time is near zero compared to more traditional paints. It's such a quick and easy way to get started. But to make pencils work for my style, I have to use the right surface. You can hear that this surface is sort of rough and scratchy. More on that a bit later. I'm laying down blue for the sky and even trying to get some of the reflection of that sky on the roof. Even though subsequent layers will likely cover up most of it. I'll let it peek through though. I'm settling in and feeling good about the composition and no one has told me to leave yet so that's good. This big truck full of hay for the cows reminds me that everyone is probably out working instead. I like reminders that there are a lot of great people working every day. It's nice to see things a little further up the supply chain than the grocery store. Now I'm putting in the darker colors to get the inside shadows of the barn contrasted with the bright sunlight on the roof. I'm going a bit slower than usual. I hope you don't mind that I stop talking and just enjoy this part. It's fun to add water to these Derwent Inktense pencils. They really pop once they get wet. I'm being careful to keep those light areas light and the dark areas dark. I like being able to do the darks early on. It really helps establish the form of this barn. Even though it looks super dark right now, it lightens up after it dries and after it dries it doesn't move anymore so I'll be able to glaze over it with a layer of yellow ochre to kinda give it that wood look. It's at this point I realize that I'm not alone and it's time to ask permission. Is it okay that I'm here? Oh, yes, oh thank you. You can paint it from any direction you want. Yeah. But there ain't the many stuff. of these barns left. Yeah, yeah that's true. When I saw it, I thought, I gotta pull over and do this. Can I look? Sure, I'm just getting started. Do you mind if I just kind of walk along you there a little bit? You can go anywhere you want. I have, I'm happy to, I'm happy to see it being done. When I get old, that's what I'm gonna become as an artist. An artist? <laughs> there you go. I'm already old. <laughs> I watched the guy on Sunday. The paint. Yeah? What's his name? Yeah, um, that's what Bob name. Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... He makes it look easy. He does. I've been practicing for a lot of years, and I'm not quite as good as I want to be, but... Oh, it looks I just great. Use, I just use pencils, um, watercolor pencils, so oh, I don't really? like the paints. So they get too messy. Hey, I, I'm... I'm proud to have you paint it, oh. so you can walk anywhere you want. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to walk up and look at the front here. you got to go haul hay in a minute. Yeah, I saw that big truck going. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I don't have <laughs> big, I can't afford big bales. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Yeah. It's super cool that he was so nice to me. And as I lay in some of this brownish yellow and greens for the weeds in that tree, I can't help but think of how nice of an experience this has been. Barns and farms are nice. It's interesting here. And I'm enjoying trying to capture the light and shadows of this place. Then possibly a brother of the first farmer comes out and asks to see my painting. I gladly show him. He 
also wondered if he could get a print. I explained that I usually finish the painting up at home, but I would gladly send him a photo when I'm done. And I actually, I'm filming it because I, I have a little YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh, okay. Where I just show how I paint it. <laughs> Maybe have a little comment. He was telling me about the barn. It's a cool barn. It's old. Okay, so as mentioned, I like to finish these up at home. And I like to use Derwent drawing pencils and Prismacolor pencils to put in the details of everything that I missed. One of the things I missed, obviously, were these trees. And... They were fun to do. I used some green colors and, and put them in roughly. I also wanted to smooth out that sky and I used a combination of uh, a blue Prismacolor and a white Prismacolor. The white tends to blend a little bit better. And then closer to the horizon, I used some of that yellow. This was all possible because I used a pre-prepared artboard. Um, it was a Canva artboard by Canson and I pre-prepared it by putting some pastel ground mixed with some pumice stone and that made it a lot more rough uh, in texture and what it allows me to do is a lot of different layers so that I can just continue to work at this. As you can see this is all sped up and I was trying to put some of the farm equipment in here and get that dirt to kind of blend with the, the bluish shadow that I put on at the, uh, at the site. I like the highlights that the white Holbein pencil can do and I also like that I can use a dark uh, black to kind of, and chocolate brown to get some of the real darks that I missed there. One of the funnest things I can do was put in that basketball hoop and you could see that I did a light color over a dark color. It didn't go completely white, but that's okay because the barn wasn't completely white, but I was really impressed that I could do that with the colored pencils I had. The last thing I do is I just put some of the, blend out some of the hard lines so that they're softer and makes it a little bit, um, more realistic looking rather than a coloring book. I have lots to practice with and I like experimenting with this stuff. I actually really like doing things outdoors too. So if you want to see my favorite experiment where I painted in the snow, check out this video right here. Thanks for exploring art with me.